hi everybody welcome back to my channel so today is an april's favorites video i'm hoping to do these each month so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all of my socials will be linked down below so first we're going to talk about bags because i have two favorite bags so this i got both of these from walmart this um this little bag is from i want to say faded glory or something it's just like a little backpack and it's super soft it is purple or like a lilac shade it's very roomy easy to get um it's a really nice backpack um i really like it because that trend's really in right now so i i personally adore it then you have this bag which has two big compartments and a small middle compartment it has two things on the side it has a little zipper pocket in the front and a like open flap on the back it's a really nice purse especially if i'm going to be gone all day if i have a meeting or something um it holds a lot of stuff they both do um and i just i really enjoy them because i pack a lot whenever i'm going because i have to have my medical supplies my test kit and all of that so they it fits really well in these bags um so next we have the makeup bag i'm currently using i got this from dd's Dee discount which is an okay store especially for like makeup bags and bags and stuff like that but it's pretty expensive clothing wise if that makes sense um it has some nice headphones and stuff like that but most of it's pretty decently expensive i got this for four dollars this is the adrian vatadini studio makeup bag it's like supposed to be like a hanging one i guess um it has the little like hanger on it but as you can see as you can see, it's plumb full of makeup. So we're gonna go through this, but I just wanted to show you the bag first. So we're gonna start with my favorites that aren't technically makeup. Like there's still a lot of makeup in this bag, but this is stuff like out of my purse and stuff, like lipsticks I use and stuff like that that stay in my purse normally. I went ahead and put them in a separate bag. And then there's like some skincare and stuff like that. So this is the Lou Anne 100% coconut oil. I have the big tub of it, and then I just refill this one. Um, I already bought a new tub of it, but as you can see, it's just about gone. Um, I really like this if my skin is feeling super dry. I also use this on, like, my elbows and stuff like that that get dry, my knees, sometimes even, like, my feet and stuff like that. So this is really good to moisturize. It also takes off makeup really easy, and it leaves your skin feeling so soft. So I really love this. I've been using this to take off my makeup recently, especially like lashes and stuff. So I'm not pulling my own off. This is a lifesaver. So I really like this. It's like, I think the big jar is like five or six dollars. And then the small jar is three. You get 14 fluid ounces in this one. And then the six dollar jar, you get 30 fluid ounces, I believe. Something like that. It's huge. Like it's like, like three times the size of this, I think, or I guess double, whatever, but it's really good. And it lasts forever. Like, I've had this little jar, and I've only had to fill it once in the last, I want to say, two months since I discovered this. But it's really good to take off your makeup. It's very gentle. Um, I'm pretty sure this is vegan-free, or vegan and cruelty-free and stuff. So if you're, like, into cruelty-free makeup, this is a great way to take off your makeup. Um, it just has so many uses. Oh, I also put it in my hair, um, all kinds of stuff. So I definitely recommend this if you get buy anything from this video. I hope it's this because this stuff is amazing. So anyways, my next product is a facial cleanser. This is the, I bought this at Walmart for, I'm going to say four or five dollars. This is the Equate Beauty Hydrating Cleanser and it is paraben free. This is 12 fluid ounces. I'm like not even halfway through this and I've had it for like three months. Um, it's compared to the Survey Hydrating Cleanser but it's really good it really it doesn't like foam up on the skin which i personally don't like when like a cleanser foams on my face it just feels weird to me i guess but this really cleans especially after you like take off your makeup if you use like the coconut oil this helps to keep that moisture in but it still really cleans your skin you can even take like a washcloth and kind of wipe around and like really exfoliate your skin with this even if it doesn't have the little granules but it's just an amazing cleanser it has a pump it's it's amazing and definitely be repurchasing this if i ever run out of it but it's really good um definitely recommend it um so yeah next i have a clarifying lotion from clinique 
even though it's not a lotion it's actually liquid but i just take this on like a cotton ball and if i have like pimples and stuff i use it there sometimes i use it like under my eye because sometimes my concealer does not want to come off um but this is a really good product as well like if i'm traveling i take this because obviously it's like super small here it is by the way i have like three of these so i'm not exactly sure the price um like these are sample sizes because it says on the back not for individual sale but i really like this it's like part of a set i think because it's number two like clarifying lotion two like it's the second step in whatever but i really like this stuff so if you can find like a giant bottle i haven't been able to find one yet so if you find one link it down below for me but i really like this stuff it's really nice next i have a hydrating gel moisturizer this is the clean and clear morning burst hydrating gel moisture so if I want like an actual like moisturizer and not just the coconut oil, I use this. And as you can see, I'm almost out. It's like two to three dollars at Walmart. It is amazing. It's so good and it smells. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells really good to me. So definitely recommend this. It's pretty cheap. You get three flu fluid ounces or 85 grams of product in this. Um, and it's really good. So next I have get these out okay so next i have a cold cream cleanser uh this is moisturizing it's a moisturizing deep cleanser and a makeup remover so it's just like a cream pretty much it smells terrible though like not terrible but it just smells kind of weird uh but this is the pond cold cream cleanser it looks like that you get 6.1 ounces of product and this thing when you open it the first time is like filled to the top i'm about like i'm about a third of the way through this it smells weird to be honest like i thought it was gonna smell better but it doesn't it's pretty old if you look at the top and you need to clean it but this is a really good especially for like super stubborn makeup like if i can't get it off with the coconut oil or the clarifying lotion even though it's not a lotion it's a liquid but whatever um i use this to like get stubborn eye makeup off waterproof stuff it's really good to like for your lashes if you can't get your mascara off all the way to rub it on the actual like your actual lashes it really helps to get them off and it like hydrates them and helps them like grow better like i'd probably say this has helped my lashes so much like i used to have like super super short lashes and they've grown so much just by using this on it to like remove my eye makeup and stuff so i really like this it's about five dollars i believe at um walmart okay so now we're getting into some lip products because i have a lot of them like in this bag oh and i have an eyebrow gel but that's besides the point so these are the mary k satin lips this is a lip mask and a lip balm they're like uh like you do them together they're they both have eight grams of product so if my lips are feeling really dry i keep this in my purse and i use it and like if i'm having trouble like applying my liquid lipstick because my lips are dry and like cracky and stuff i exfoliate them with this lip mask and it's like super easy to apply so i'm not exactly sure how much these are because a friend gave them to me but i really like these i really love this lip balm like i need to get another one because this one's almost empty but i just i uh, oof, i adore these so definitely check them out uh, they're by Mary Kay and they're really nice. These are the Satin Lips Lip Mask and Lip Balm, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Just like that. And then one. Is this the, so the lip balm is just like a, like that, like a lip gloss kind of. Like the old school lip glosses. And then the lip mask is so weird. So it's just like that. Like kind of like some concealers, if that makes sense. You just squirt it like onto the back of your hand and then rub it on your lips. And it's really nice. Um, It really helps to exfoliate them so next for the eyebrow gel this is the it's actually mascara clear lash gel but i use it for my eyebrows because it really like helps to set them in place as you can see the wand is disgusting on this um i believe this is by color workshop i got it in like a set and i really like it especially like if i do my brows and like later on in the day they're like not setting and they're like start rubbing away or something i use that and it's really good to like update them through the day like keep them nice so I really enjoy that. What I'm wearing on my lips right now is the L'Oreal Pop Balm in Electric Pink. So, 
it's just like a lip balm but it has a little bit of color so like for natural makeup days or no makeup days this keeps your lips really hydrated excuse me it does transfer but it's still amazing so love that so next we have the physician's formula organic wear bright booster oil elixir i don't know why they call it oil because it doesn't like feel like oil um but they have a rose one i want to try they have a few of these and i really want to try the packaging is so gorgeous so you open it this little button you push it a few times or whatever and it fills this little dropper and then like it moisturizes your face you can mix it in with foundation to like sheer it out so like if i want a natural makeup day what i do i've been using the maybelline superstay since i reviewed it i've had it for two or three weeks i want to say and i reviewed it but if i don't want it to be full coverage because it's a very full coverage foundation um i use this with a beauty sponge and i mix them together and put it on and it's like it really makes it look so good and it kind of makes the foundation a little dewy as well so if you're looking for something to make your foundations a little more dewy not as like matte i would highly recommend this i haven't tried the other ones yet because they're kind of expensive they're like 12 or 13 dollars. i only got this because there was a sale at my local walmart well not local but kind of local walmart and i was able to get this for like four dollars i believe something like that it was really cheap so that's why i got it because i'm i'm not a big spender but i definitely like this so if i run out like it lasts forever i've had this for like four or five months already um i would definitely pay 13 dollars for it because it is so amazing and i'm not one to spend a lot of money on anything because i'm a cheapskate but um really good product highly recommend it uh the lotion that I've, the lotion i've been recently loving i have two different kinds of this one is like the like bigger size of it i guess this is the jergens original scent long lasting moisture for beautifully soft skin with cherry almond essence and it's a dry skin moisturizer i use this literally everywhere i use it on my face my arms my legs my hands everywhere i love this it's just like a white lotion i think it smells amazing like i could literally just smell this all day it's really good it's only a few dollars i believe like three dollars maybe something like that and usually you get a two pack so really like this oh so much lipstick okay so we'll start out with lip glosses i guess i'm gonna do lip liners okay so i have a i've been really liking to do a liquid lipstick and then a gloss over top so depending on what I'm doing, so for if I'm just wearing lip gloss for the day, I usually wear this one. This is the Rimmel London Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in 40 Endless Summer. And it's very gorgeous. Of course, it does come off, so you do need to reapply it. But I feel like it's not like a normal gloss. Like, it's not sticky in any way. I really like the applicator as well. Like, it's like super flat and it has a nice tip to like line your lips if you want um but that is what it looks like i really like this i also have the same gloss in 820 seduce me it's just a clear gloss um obviously that's like tinted pink because i use red lipstick with it a lot you can't even see it but whatever oh yeah you can it just has like a glossy sheen it is so pretty over like liquid red lipstick and stuff um, I just really enjoyed both of these. Mm. Then next, I just have a normal clear gloss from LA Colors. It's just in clear. Um, I really like this as well. Then I have the Lux Lip Smacker in Pink Velvet. Guys, this stuff tastes like velvet cupcakes and it is amazing. I really like this. It's really, it's not really pink though. Like, if I swatch it, it looks pink, but once you put it on the lips, it's it's not really pink. It, like, blends out, if that makes sense. So, there is a swatch. It's that third one. And then, lastly, I have the XXL Plumping. Oh, this is by Femi Contour. It's the XXX, the XXL Plumping Gloss Lip Shine. Um, it doesn't have a color, so... But this one has the biggest doe foot, like, ever. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. Like, look how big that is. Um, I don't know if it necessarily plumps your lips, 
but it gives you like a slight color there we go. okay it's just like a bubble pink lip gloss um i really like this again on like no makeup days i haven't tried it over a liquid lipstick yet but i will definitely try it and let you guys know it smells really good too kind of like bubble gum but like a peppermint bubble gum if that makes sense but it's really good um I, like i said i don't know if it plumps but i really like how it makes my lips look so i really like all of those now my hand is covered in lip gloss so that's great just gonna wipe that off and now there's hair sticking to me because i have a cat who's evil but that's beside the point okay so i have two favorite liners lip liners okay i have no idea which one this is So this is in ruby red it's a really nice like red um i want to say it's by rimmel london maybe like it's one of the first ones i ever bought i really like it um it's a great one especially when i wear liquid when i wear brighter colors like especially reds and stuff and like deeper reds that's a really good color to use next we have the l'oreal color rich um lip liner in all about pink so I'll just swatch that it has like a weird like metallic-y sheen or it looks like that but once you actually put it on the lips it it doesn't have that it's just a really great lip liner it's very creamy and it's a turn up so you don't have to sharpen it so i would definitely recommend these i want to get more colors but right now i have another color that's like more brownish nude but I like the pink one better because that's more of what I wear. So, so next, I already talked about that. Okay. So I think I'm probably going to do, yeah, I'm going to do a part two of this video. After I get through with this bag, I'll do a part two for Friday's video. So next we have... Okay, so next we have Re the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and I have two shades. I actually have them all, but these are my favorite two shades. First is 655 Kisses, and the other one is Forever, 645 and 655. So one's like a matte pinkyish brown, I would say. And these are super opaque, so highly, highly recommend them. Um, I really like this formula because I would say it's, a, this is more pinky, like, but it's still pretty, like, nude. It's not super, like, crazy, if that makes sense. So, I need to clean the rims, but whatever. So, here is Forever, and there is Kisses, I believe, right? Yeah. So, Kisses is definitely my favorite. I wear that one more, but I love the formula of these because they're sad matte, so they still transfer a little bit. But they last all day and they're very comfortable. So I really like them. They dry pretty matte though. Like after like they take a lot longer to dry. If that makes sense. So yeah. So next. I have three different lips. So this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Clueless. This is just like a nude pink. Like super nude actually. It's not as deep as Kisses. It's just like a small doe foot. I'm sure you guys already know this. I've had this lipstick so long that the like thing around it and the color pop and all that it has worn off because it's so like been used. So there it is right there. Next I have the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Intense Lip Color I guess. And this is in 105 Rich Caramel. So it has like a base color and then it has a gloss. I usually, to be honest, I don't really use the gloss with the lip color, like the liquid lipstick side. So, but I will swatch them both. And this one you definitely have to build up like the color. Like you have to probably do two layers, I would say, before you get like an opaque color. I really like the gloss by itself though. Like it is a gorgeous gloss. So you're supposed to put the lip color on first and then let it dry completely and then put the gloss, but I, I don't do that. 
So here is the lip color and there is lip gloss. I really like these doubles. I have uh, the red one as well and a few other colors. I think I have like four of them and there's like six colors I believe, something like that. I really like them. I don't necessarily use them together though. So then lastly, I have, or not lastly, but the next one is the Lime Crime Velvetine Velvet Matte Lipstick or whatever. And this is in the color Faded. This is another pinky nude. So here it is. This is a little more purpley compared to the other one. It's right there. And the last products, or almost last products, so I have three of the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. I have two metallics. I actually have a black and green, like for Halloween and stuff, but I don't obviously wear those all the time. I could wear the black again, but eh, I'm not big on it. Um, big on wearing black, I should say. So I have three colors. The first one is Missy and Fierce. And this is like my go-to red liquid lipstick. Like, I adore this color. It pairs really, really well with that red um, lip liner. So, it is right there. It's super bright and gorgeous. Next, I have Ride on My Copper. This is a metallic lip color. I don't know if it's going to swatch as metallic as it looks like on the lips. And you can use these on top of normal, like a normal liquid lipstick, as long as it's similar to the same shade. Um... I personally like to wear them, yeah, there you go, right there. Um, then this one is Life's No Pinknick, like picnic, but instead of pick, it's pink. Um, and this is like a ready um, metallic. I really like it, though. To be honest, out of the two, the reddish one that I'm swatching now is super gorgeous. Um, I personally like wearing these on their own, but you could definitely put them over like a nude lip gloss or something, or a nude, a nude lip, liquid lipstick. So there's, can you see that? That one. So those are amazing. I honestly adore them. And they're $5 each, I believe, $4, something like that. So next, lastly, I have three Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Um, one is in Dominatrix, Androgyny, and Gemini. Two of them lost their little stickers, but I know because I use them so much that, like, I know the name because they're my favorites. Um, so first is Gemini. I have way too many liquid lipsticks on my purse. I need to get a handle on that. Next is Dominatrix. I love, like, brown nudes and shades like that, and then also pinks like brownie pink and like stuff like that and this one looks a little more purple but when you put it on the lips it's actually like a nude so i have gemini dominatrix and androgyny androgyny on me anyways looks a lot more pink like i'd probably say it looks more like a mix between faded and kisses but they're both amazing so i like all three of those especially if i'm going for like a vampy look i love wearing dominatrix and then i put ride right on my copper the metallic lip on top just in the middle and it looks so gorgeous like i love that look so anyways i will do a part two of this because i still have all my favorites like in my actual makeup bag and that will include brushes and all of that so that video will be up Friday, so look out for that. Um, and if you guys want to see like what's in my bag or purse or whatever, we I will do that video probably next Tuesday. I want to say so like in a week. Um, these earrings I got from Jewelry Box in El Paso, Texas. Um, it also has like an Eve's or something in it, Eve's Intimates. So if you want to see like earrings like this, they're just like orange danglies i guess um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go try to get these swatches off my hand before they don't come off for a while so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and my socials will be down in the description bye guys love ya